Shut up and sit down. Hey friends, I'm Simon. I'm Ellie. And if you enjoy our videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell thing. That would be very kind of you indeed. And tonight, as with every night pretty much, we're surprising each other with trailers that the other person has not yet seen and filming our silly reactions to those. So what do we have next? Well, next up, we have a trailer that's recommended by our friend Storm Shadow, who was super excited about this, and I'll explain why in a moment. But this was something that really got me going as well. When I was a kid, I used to read the G.I. Joe comics, which were really big in England. They were called Action Force because no one outside of the United States knows what the hell G.I. Joe is. Um, but they were they were very, very big. They had some great stories about Cobra versus the armed forces. And there was a character in there who I just loved called Snake Eyes, who was a ninja. He was trained by a ninja family. He gained some incredible ninja skills. Then he went to join the G.I. Joe crew and kind of became their silent assassin who would go on reconnaissance missions. But he had a brother who ended up working with Cobra who was called Storm Shadow. Uh, Snake Eyes would wear a black ninja suit. Storm Shadow would wear a white ninja suit. So there was this awesome kind of visual between the two of them in the comics and like I know the G.I. Joe movies have been yeah okay like there have been moments they've been all right there have been moments they've been kind of terrible so a little bit mixed but I have really really high hopes for this Snake Eyes Storm Shadow backstory it's kind of a, an origin story that's coming out in July so I've not seen the trailer yet either I say we'll check it out if you want to see what we think about it then hang around until the end but for now let's go Let's roll that trailer! Oh, nice! Wow. Every warrior has a beginning. I'm on a new level! For 600 years, our ninja have brought peace to the world. Oh. I'm on a new level! I need warriors like you. Join us. What do I have to do? The journey from here. Wow. It's yours to decide. <laughs> but that is just the beginning. I'm on a new level. Oh my goodness, so teasy, but so much goodness packed into that one minute teaser. Wow, well, before I go rambling on, what did you think of it? I mean, obviously not keen on teasers because it's too teasy, um, but this looks really promising for what we might end up with. And one of the things that really jumped out at me at the beginning was that kind of samurai armor inspired um, motorcycle get up. Yeah, that's a really interesting choice. From you saying before, because I'm not familiar with this with this um, franchise at all, but you're talking about one of them dressed in black and one in white. That was a really interesting choice to have, like the white contrast against the black and it being samurai inspired. That was really interesting. Yeah, the whole visuals I thought all the way through this was super interesting. But yeah, I there was so much. I mean, the 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 helmet that it shows at the end is what Snake Eyes wore in the comics and. Yeah, the, the, there was a cartoon as well of G.I. Joe that was super popular when I was a kid. So just seeing that iconic look was kind of amazing. I feel like, you know, there are some things, and a kind of Transformers is an example where Michael Bay tried to modernize it, and people just hate that. People just want to see what they loved growing up. They don't want to see some fresh new modern spin on it. And I feel like this could do that for G.I. Joe. This could be that that faithful retelling and and really like I mean G.I. Joe was fine but the Snake Eyes Storm Shadow rivalry was just such an awesome story that that's probably what most people want to see. The other thing I noticed as well it kind of reminded me way back that there weren't many women in the G.I. Joe franchise and this was back in the days where pretty much every toy line would have one token female character. Sometimes they'd have one good female character and one evil female character and it was always like 
yeah, I guess if your sister's around, then maybe she'd want to play a little bit too. So here's a token figure that you can lend her. But that was the kind of mentality back then. And it was very much back in the days of boys' toys and girls' toys, which thankfully seems to be disappearing, which is such a good thing for society. But anyway, off of that soapbox. But I really liked it that you see a character called Scarlet in this teaser. And she was really, really instrumental in the comic storyline of Snake Eyes and where he came from. And you see, I believe, another character who is on the Cobra side as well that I'm just theorizing, so I'm not going to spill too many beans there in case either it's spoilers or I'm completely wrong. But yeah, I really liked it that they seem to, at the very least, they have Scarlet and Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow probably a bunch more characters coming so this could be the gi joe movie that people have been waiting for for a very very long time i also actually really like it that this is not necessarily a reboot of the other gi joe movies and and like there are people who probably really like those movies who are probably really big fans who maybe watch them when they're a kid and they've got really fond memories so i like it that this doesn't necessarily trample all over those other movies, it just kind of, it's a prequel and an origin story that could fit into that same universe. I think that's actually kind of cool. Well, there you go. That was super teasy. But as you can see, I'm at least excited. Maybe uh, it would tempt you into the world of G.I. Joe. Definitely. It looks like a good introduction. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Storm Shadow, for keying me into this one. It had completely gone under my radar, and it comes out in July, so hardly any time to wait at all. And I'm excited. Maybe we'll actually be able to get back into a movie theater and see this again, which... Like, I remember the days when we were always just desperately searching for any movie to watch on a Friday night just for an excuse to go to a cinema. So maybe this is that one in July that would uh, give us a fun night out. But uh, either way, we, we haven't got long to wait to see it. And you haven't got long to wait to see us again. Because you know how often we do this? Frequently. Very, very frequently. In fact every day. Some might say too frequently. Yes. Some might say, dial it back, you guys, you're driving me nuts. Others that might... Someone would be the one who has to edit these videos because <laughs> it takes a long time. Yes. Others might say, why don't you do three or four videos a day? And to that we say, because we have jobs and bills to pay. Unfortunately, we, we haven't got a monetized YouTube channel at this point because we really don't want to annoy you guys with ads and therefore we still have boring old-fashioned day jobs where we don't sit in front of a green screen and wear wigs. But anyway, because of all that, we will see you tomorrow, friends, on the next Dork Trailer Ambush. Peace out, snakes. Bye, snake eyes. <laughs>